right, Joanne, where are we off to tonight? Oh my goodness, so exciting. It is the final night of the film festival and we are here at the Sage. Guess what the theme is? What is it? Roaring 20s. <laughs> awesome stuff. It's Tyler. It's Joanne. And we are out. And about Sarasota. All right. I think I'm going to say come take a what? A ganda. Let's do it. Now we are here with Petra, the director of the Sarasota Film Festival. Welcome. Hi. Welcome Yay. Yay. I, think I just saw you last night, right? Of course. Yes, I did. So this is the last night of the film festival. It's been so great. I mean, a phenomenal run all week long. Of course. It was amazing. Like every year. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the famous people that got to brought to Sarasota. Oh my god, we were so lucky. We got Greg Kinnear and his wife, we got Anne Heche, we got uh, Thomas Jane, we got David Amran, and we were just so happy to have all these people here. I love that. Every year, the film festival seems like it gets so big, it gets so much fun. I mean, the parties, I mean, the extravagant movies, I mean, it goes on and on and on. We are just so lucky. I'm so I'm so grateful to be part of it. I gotta ask you in closing, how did you actually get involved with the Sarasota Film Festival? Well, I'm a filmmaker. I moved in last year and I have a lot of experiences in Hollywood, so it was the path that I took and I'm grateful for that. Wow, incredible. A filmmaker. A filmmaker, yeah. A documentary filmmaker. I'm gonna ask you this then. How did you get involved in filmmaking? I mean, what was your like your, your reasoning to wanting to do film? Well, I lived in Prague, and Prague has 20% incentives on taxes, so I was lucky to work on a lot of Hollywood movies. Oh, incredible. All right. If our viewers are watching right now, they want to get information about the Sarasota Film Festival, I'm sure there's a website. Of course. Please go to sarasotafilmfestival.com. That's Great. where you're going to learn everything. Thank you. And even the, though the Sarasota Film Festival is over, there's still some other things that are going on throughout the season, right? Yes. Thank you for mentioning it. We're, we're, we're running the film camps. We're going to run six uh, weeks of film camps in the summer, and we're doing cinematic programs every Saturday where we're screening legendary films. Awesome stuff. All right, there's so much more. You don't want to miss it. Stay right there. We'll be right back after this message. Welcome to Beautiful You Boutique. Specializing in previewed fashion. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Fendi, Prada, Michael Kors, and even Chanel. And many, many more. Fashionable wear at a fraction of the cost. This full line boutique has so much to choose from, including for women and for men. So from red carpet to everyday fashions, I choose Beautiful You Boutique, 1812 Hillview Street. Welcome back. We're at the Sage, and I'm here with the event director, Zach. Zach, this is so exciting. We're what here. a wonderful place tonight. Thank you. We're extremely excited. This is going to be a really big party for us. Absolutely. How many people are you expecting? Uh, we were told that we're between 400 to 500, so we're prepping on the high end. Sometimes we prep up to 600 just to make sure we have enough. Uh, everybody here is, is ready for it, so we've been preparing. 600. Oh my goodness, that's so many people. That's a lot, and we decided when we started this whole venture that we were not going to shut down the building, uh, but this opportunity was presented to us, and we have to show it off. <laughs> you see the building, so we have to do it, and we get to dress fancy, so it's kind of fun. Yes, let's talk about this. So tonight's theme is... <laughs> the night's theme is the Roaring Twenties. Uh, we went with the Gatsby's theme. It's classic, but yes. it works really well with the style that we're in. Uh, every floor has that same theme, but there are a couple different cocktails. Uh, downstairs, we're going to have our house classics that we typically serve. We want everyone to really experience those. Uh, and then on our third floor, we have a martini special. They're all different martinis that we're offering there. Kind of more of a classy atmosphere of ballroom. Rooftop lounge is, is the lounge, and we want you to lay back and, and enjoy yourself. Thank you so <laughs> much. I'm yes. so excited to get started with the night. Yeah. Look who I found, one of the phenomenal entertainers of the last time that we're going to be with the Sarasota Film Festival for the season. What's your name? 
Ambiance Le Fleur. Okay, tell our viewers that are watching a little bit about what this ensemble is. So I'm a burlesque performer with the business and burlesque. And this is my take on the speakeasy flapper theme, all about decadence and fun. Wow, look at this. Now, I think I heard someone say, you may have made this yourself? I did, indeed. I'm also a costume designer. Costume designer, wow. So how did you get involved with the Sarasota Film Festival, and is this your first year? Um, this is my first year as an ambient performer, okay. um, and I was cast by the burlesque uh, producer to okay. be here and be beautiful, so I'm doing my best. <laughs> so are you involved with any of the bur burlesque shows that are here around town? I am. We actually just had a show last night at the Gator Club. That's our home club. Okay. And we did a man's ruin, which was also a speakeasy theme, and it was a lot of fun. Awesome stuff. Do you have a website in case our viewers want to have a costume made like this for themselves? Absolutely. You can find me at Ambiance Le Fleur on Instagram and Facebook. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. So we're here with Keith. Keith. I think you're here just to scope out some new talent. We actually are. Uh, I'm here with some of our talent, Ray and Lori. But of course we're here to see who the new look might be and possibly pick up some new talent. So if I was interested, where would I find you and maybe get involved? Well, we're Alexa Model and Talent. We're out of Tampa. We're a premier print and acting agency. And if you were interested in us, uh, you could send some photos to Alexa at alexamodels.com. And that's one way you can get discovered. So did you get to see any of the movies today at the Film Fest? I did. I went to see Phil tonight uh, with Greg Kinnear. I'm a Greg Kinnear fan. It was a tough movie. I like Greg, so, you know, he, it's, it's his thing. You know, it was his thing. All right, we have found my friend Josh Beadle back on the show again. An amazing night tonight. Let's talk about how did you get involved with the Sarasota Film Festival? Well, so I have a company called SarasotaOut.com. It's an LGBT website here in town. It features events and businesses that are LGBT friendly. And it kind of just goes hand in hand that the arts, which is the film festival, would get involved with the gay community. So we sponsor the film festival and we put together a gay guide of all the things that are going on in the festival that are gay. So the gay films, the gay events, and of course, the parties, which we're at tonight. Absolutely. And we know that the parties with the Sarasota Film Festival is really what they're known for. I mean, opening day, closing, mid of the week. I mean, last night was crazy, right? Oh my gosh, I, we had a good night. Did you have a good time? I don't remember. Oh, I, I did. I think I saw you there. I think I saw him. I, I, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. I totally like wiped out so so this is my third year uh, we've done the gay guide for three years and it was really um, a passion project of mine I really enjoy the arts you know I was uh, when I was a little gay boy in high school I was always gravitated now towards you're a big gay girl I'm a, yeah so I mean I've grown up but uh, the arts were always like a place of where I felt protected and so it was like just natural for me to want to gravitate again towards the arts. Right. So um, I had a couple friends that were working with the film festival and they were like, Josh, like it would be great for you to get involved. And they were, they started with the Gay Guy Happy Hour, which right. you've been to, yes. the Gay Guy Happy Hour. So we started hosting a couple events for the film festival, really trying to get the gay community involved. And it's just blossomed into a great synergy. We have a great synergy with the film festival now. Wow, that's awesome. So. Another year, we'll be back next year. You'll be doing we'll your be gay back. guide again next year with the film festival, so I bet it was a big success for you. Oh my God, we had um, probably over a thousand hits on our website wow. just looking at the gay guide. So, I mean, that's a thousand people that now might know about the film festival that didn't know about it in the past. Absolutely, well, thanks so much, Josh. So, Mark, here we are. It's closing night, we're at the Sage, but honestly, this really isn't the end of the film fest. Tell us a little bit more about what that means. Well, not at all. Actually, we do screenings throughout the year, and we've got a very strong education department. We deal with a lot of kids, kids in, uh, in the public schools, kids in the private schools. Uh, this film camp their education department is doing is extending into the summer, and we do these uh, outdoor screenings, and I think this year we're doing a bunch of stuff around the downtown area. So we've grown very, very rapidly. We expect to continue to grow by popular demand. But for at least the next few days, I think I think we're all going to sleep. Yes, I think I'm going to sleep too. I'm very tired myself, honestly. So, but it's been fabulous. It's been amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it really has been. 
We've had people just jumping up and down about it. It's been so much fun. So I'm so excited about this groundbreaking that you had uh, yesterday oh, you. morning. That's right. We, uh, we're building a new headquarters for the uh, Sarasota Film Festival at 332 Coconut. And it's a condominium development um, that uh, is pretty about halfway sold in three days. A lot of, um, a lot of actors have bought in, a lot of um, uh, well-known musicians, a lot of local Sarasota folks. And, um, you know, we just kept it inexpensive and built it very, very well. And it's going to also house the offices and support services for the film festival. So. So, it, so we'll have, like, visibility for the film festival all year round, not just during the festival. Visibility in great space, great creative space. So um, we'll be able to consolidate some of the efforts that's out there now. Now we have a 10,000 feet or so around the airport area where they do uh, a Cinematech event uh, every week or every two weeks and our offices are downtown in about 2,500 2, square feet and we have some storage elsewhere so we're going to be able to consolidate everything and that's really a big deal. Well, all I can say is this been this has been an amazing I think what like a week and a half almost two weeks? Yeah about uh, 11 12 days and it's been uh, in preparation intensely for the last six and a half months so Absolutely. Well, I've had a lovely time. Thank I've had you. so much fun being with you, being part of this film fest. We love out and about. You guys are great. Thanks Thank for all you. the info. And thanks for following us. We oh, really appreciate absolutely. it. Oh, absolutely. Out and about Sarasota made possible by these fine sponsors. This has been an Out and About Media Production, product of Sarasota Socialist.